Greetings fellow Decepticons, Sandblaster1987 here, and welcome to part 1 of Shark Week, which is also part 4 of a Jungle Pride Magazine review, and part 3 of my second look of a Jungle Fury Spirit Ranger Zords. Today I'm going to be looking at Geki Shark, the Shark Ranger Spirit Zord from Power Rangers Jungle Fury slash Jukan Sentai Geki Ranger. The Spirit Rangers range closer to the Jungle Fury series, but their Zords were still used in Geki Ranger as they were originally given to the Rangers by their secondary senseis. One thing I couldn't show off in my previous review of the Shark Zord was the fact that the gills light up when you insert a couple of LR44 batteries which I didn't have at the time. But now that I've got them, switch on uh, this piece here and the gills start to light up. Press, pressing the button on the top of the black piece here will show off the uh, different combinations of flashing lights for the gills. As you can see, multiple different forms of flashing lights on their gills here in sort of traffic light colours. Now I'll switch that off for now to conserve energy. But, like all the others, they can combine with the Jungle Pride Megazord. First, tear the shark in half, like so. Then, split the tail end in half to become arm mounted weapons. Fold down the tail fins, like so. Then come into the inside edge and pull out these little stumps and handles here. These will connect onto the arms of the Jungle Pride Megazord. Then the yeah, shark head will flip up like so. And then the fins will flip up like so. And flip around this panel here to become a helmet. Then combine with the Jungle Pride Megazord like so. So these little pegs on this side here will be attached to the ports on the inside of the shark, like so. Whoops. Because the pieces here are made of rubber, they're a little bit hard to maneuver properly, so bear with me. And here we have a Jungle Pride Magazord with shark power. As with all the others, the spin gimmick still works as a finish or attack for this mode. So if I were to switch on the spin motor, then... That's how we, yeah, arm-mounted shark swords are used as a finishing attack in the series. For size comparison, here is the Jungle Prime Maker's Order of Shark Power, next to... The Jungle Master Megazord in its standard configuration. As you can see, the shark head makes it considerably taller than the Jungle Master Megazord, even though the faces are around the same level. So if I quickly switch the shark zord back to its original configuration. For those who haven't seen my previous Shark, Bat and Elephant 3 in 1 Zord review, in which I showed off the combinations with the Jungle Master Megazord. The Shark Zord has the following articulation. A up and down wiggling hinge of the tail fin for the sword mode transformation. And 360 degree ratcheted rotation plus a friction hinge of the fins. No opening mouth like the Wild Force Shark Zords because of the transformation requirements and such. Note, the shark tail cannot reattach if the yeah, Megazord head is still di <coughs> displayed, so you've got to flip that back before you can clip it back together. So, for a number size comparison, here is the Shark Zord from Jungle Fury next to Beast Wars Vintage Reissue Cyber Shark, which I'll be reviewing next as part two of Shark Week. So, 
That concludes my review. I have been Sandblast1987. My next jungle fury review will most likely be either the Wolf Zord or the Rhino Steel Megazord. But until then, my next review altogether will be part two of Shark Week with the Beast Wars Vintage Reissue Cyber Shark from 2023. Till then, till all are one, and may the power protect you. Always.